As you can see, the interior is gutted. Sometimes when it feels like we've lost everything. Everything in here, gone. We find what matters the most. Adolf and Nellie Newman are finding that now, one month since they woke up to fire ripping through their home. Got to the door and I reached out and grabbed the knob and turned it, but I couldn't get the door open. And the thought crossed my mind, we're trapped. We're going to die here. So that's when I reached out and grabbed the arm and uh, we pulled her in uh, outside. And then I was in my underwear. <laughs> Uh, that's that's what I had. With only the clothes on their backs, they thought they'd lost everything. Just the thought that she didn't have anything is what made me think we have to do something. Adrian Norman worked with Nellie as tour guides in the Capitol for years. Many times Nellie was right there for Adrian. She and I actually helped to evacuate the Capitol on 9-11. I couldn't have been with a better person. I fell apart. Nellie uh, kept it together and, and, and as a result kind of helped me uh, to calm down. Now she's returning the favor. Adrian and others are raising money for the Newmans to get them back on their feet. It's really overwhelming and just very humbling to think that anyone would make the effort to want to help us the way they have. You both strike me as noticeably optimistic despite all this. Where does that come from? God. God. Sifting through the charred rubble, there wasn't much that survived the fire, but a stack of Bibles was recovered, virtually unscathed. Their friends and their faith are with them, and that's what matters most. Reporting in Fairfax County, Drew Wilder, News 4. She retired from giving capital tours, but she plans to volunteer there again when the building reopens to visitors.